literary agent in New York, works for a literary agency in the city, recently fired, not because of what she said online, but because she maintained accounts on Parler and Gab. Those are free speech alternatives to corporate social media. The employee's name is Colleen Offline, and she joins us tonight. Colleen, I appreciate your coming on. Um, so I, I really wanted to talk to you just to make sure I got this right. You were fired not because you said something outrageous or immoral online, but because you used specific social media platforms? Tucker, thank you so much for having me tonight, and thank you for all your hard work. I really think you hit the nail on the head in your monologue, but yes, you are correct. That's what I got fired for. I created a profile on Parler, and I created a profile on Gab. I posted the same exact content on Twitter as I posted on those social media platforms, and that's what I got fired for. What I'm so struck by here is you work for, worked for a literary agency, and the basis, of course, of literature is free thinking. And so you would think that a literary agency would be kind of the last line of defense against this kind of Stalinism. What did your bosses say to you? Um, actually, I, it was an email, and um, pretty of succinct course. that I had created a profile on Parler and Gab, and that because of what they called my political activities, they had to take swift action and part ways. Since you worked in the literary world, what do you think the future of literature and art is in a country where people can be fired for using the wrong social media platform? It's chilling, Tucker. It's really chilling because um, it, uh, it used to be that being silent was safe on Twitter and in American publishing. But um, I feel like this signaled to those in American publishing that it's okay to get rid of people who aren't moderate or who are moderate, who aren't publicly right. left of center. They want people left of center. And um, so if you were, uh, obviously if you were outwardly conservative, yes, you were vilified, yes, you were silenced, but being silent used to mean you would be safe from those kind of actions. Right. Now it's you have to be publicly on the left, otherwise you're out. Uh, it's really a shocking story. I, I'm gonna save this tape as a kind of period piece for when we emerge from this, I hope it's soon. Good luck, Colleen. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Tucker.